Now you may have clicked on this video because in it, I mentioned that this run was extremely blessed. In a roguelike, that term can be extremely vague because if you win, you feel blessed. And if you lose, well, that was just bad luck. If we're looking at it in simple terms, how else could I define this run? rather than saying it was blessed. The reason that I state that is because the relics that I pick up along the way. But what's really important here is something that I've never done in any of my runs, which you'll see in this video as well. And on top of this too, I feel like after this run was said and done, the confidence that I have with the watcher going forward has just went up tenfold. I feel like when I was learning The Watcher during my journey of trying to get to Act 4, I would always beat myself up because if I didn't beat the corrupt heart, it was like, well, I guess I don't understand this character. She's so frustrating. She's so hard. So Ascension runs have almost given me like this confidence boost that I need to keep pursuing a character that I find the most difficult and challenging to learn, at least in my opinion. Now I know for those that have played this game or any roguelike for that matter, you always have that run that you're never going to forget, right? This is just one of those runs on top of many others that I've had that I've shared with you here on YouTube. I hope that this one can be memorable for you. Too. And maybe you can let me know in the comments down below. I don't normally do this type of thing of maybe a cool run that you had that reminds you of this one as you watch it. All that being said, though, you guys enjoy this one. And as always, be safe, be humble and do what you do best. I'll catch you guys in the next one. We go this way. Maybe we'll fight this, too. I don't know. We'll see how it goes. It's three elites. Oh, uh, sure. Nice. We'll try to play to that a little bit. Guardian. Well, the unfortunate thing there is I had no attack cards besides Eruption, and I couldn't kill him on Eruption, so I wasn't going to do that. I think I'll do some rushdown. Getting draw with rage is very good. This is good for now. I'm just trying to think, do I need insight? Do I want to use insight? I mean, the thing is like, this is going to encourage me to go, Rushdown is going to encourage me to go straight into wanting to play Wrath cards, right? Every time you go into it, I kind of want something that makes you go in and out to get your opponents down and quicker and whatnot. I feel like this is what I want to do. I feel like I want to do meditate. I've just, I've been staring at it for a while. I'm like, I feel like that's what I want to do. Gonna wake him up though. It's not worth it this turn. I wanna get rushed on going if I can.
As much as I want to go rage there, I don't want to. Oh, end your turn. Fuck. Okay. an interesting synergy. That's a really interesting synergy. If I can make it make the... Because I've never really used this card. That's why I fricked up that first time and I was like, oh crap, it's ending your turn. That was kind of cool to go back and forth with that. That was actually really sweet. Do you feel like you want to rest or do you want to... I can't risk it if it's Gremlin Knob. If it was Sentries, I probably would say, yeah, we can go ahead and just say whatever, but... Pocket sentries. Of course it's them. Sorry, I didn't mean to hit the mic there. So do I have eruption? Okay. We'll see what happens here. It's gonna it's gonna shuffle it back. I'd say we only fight two elites in this act. Ooh. Wow, two cards. That's huge manipulation. Okay. Can set up some really interesting turns with meditate. Ah! 
I gotta play slower with it though because I want to make sure that I'm doing it correctly and I'm not playing it really weird. so weird it's weird it's weird 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 i'm trying to i'm trying to make it work though i'm trying to make it work okay do i feel like i need anything out of this i mean i say right now how things are going i don't think you need anything here i think right now there isn't i'm like looking at that going i don't think i need it i think i'm okay and i am gonna smith here and I think to get that rage going, I think we should probably upgrade this. Make it cost less. You know what? I'm gonna put one. I'm gonna put one of these on right now before I forget. Boy, I've never had this done to me. What is this? What is this gonna do? Okay.
Probably should go into Calm there because I don't know what it's going to do. using wallop and empty mine it just happens to work out that way I think it's actually kills me. No, okay. It's only doing 12, okay. Furia blows will be good here because I am switching stances quite a bit, but... Ooh, it's gonna take seven out of me. Take six. Okay. Sixteen. Close. Close fight. We stuck through with it, though. I think we hung in there. I'm glad that I upgraded. Close one. I always like to keep it close, too, don't I? I feel like act ones are always kind of crazy. These are all really good, except the one thing I like is lesson learned, because it's upgraded. Brilliance is going to do nothing for us here, because we've got nothing with devotion in our hand. Wish wouldn't be bad either. I feel like I'm going to go lesson learned here. I feel like we should probably transform some cards. But I kind of want to transform two strike cards and a, and a block card. Or I could do all three strike cards. Because, like, when I'm looking at my attacking, this is my attack, this is my attack, this is my attack, and this is my attack. So it's kind of like, this gets you blocking, but it's like you don't have a lot of attacks. So I feel like maybe I should go one attack, and then two blocks. For no evil, protect, and what else? I think that actually was good, because... We took out one block for two attacks. I think we'll we'll be okay with this. I think this might work. The collector. Now, who knows if, um, who knows if putting that, hang on. I was going to say something. Who, who knows if putting on that, uh, that potion up here would have made the difference or not. Who really knows? Um, I'd say we get this. Absolutely. 
I just want to start being a little more pickier with my cards. These guys are good. These guys are going to be pretty relentless with their attacks. So I got to make sure I'm playing smart here. It's going to be 26. Part of me just wants to skip. Nice. So now we have Toxic Egg and Molten Egg. So all cards are going to be upgraded at this point. What if I pick up the next card? So that's huge. That's even more huge with Lesson Learned. Because now Lesson Learned going forward, the only cards that are probably going to be upgraded or need to be used for upgrades will be Wallop, Vigilance, Defend, Strike, Strike, Empty Mind. Otherwise, every other card I pick up going forward is going to be upgraded. At the end of combat, raise your max HP by one. Okay. These are weird. All right. So lesson learned is kind of not really come into play anymore. It might not seem like it will come into play. So that'd be really a lot of damage. This might, this build, without trying to get too ahead of myself, might be a lot of damage. Now that's where Flurry of Blows, I just said, would come into play here. It will. The issue with Flurry of Blows is something I always forget with this uh, rushdown is that it's going to essentially draw three cards. So I have to make sure that when I draw this, I have enough to draw the Flurry so it's not counteracting it. When I go Rage, that is. It makes the most sense. So I will take it because I think it will help. But I just have to play it smart. So I think the next thing to probably take here, let's do Wallop. I think Wallop's going to help us a lot. Ooh, I could have actually killed him. I fucked up, dude. Not bad. I didn't want you. Yo! 
I do like this. I do like this build. This is a lot of fun. It just takes concentration for me, is all. The potion of the dex is coming into play, too, that I put on. I'm trying to see what we get there, but we got a lot of wounds. Oh my gosh. And that's huge to get shovel right now. That is so huge because either we rest or we dig now. Because we know that every card going forward, we can just rely on lesson learned to do the job to upgrade pretty much vigilance, this strike card, this talk to the hand. Because as I mentioned, every card we pick up going forward is going to be upgraded. So this is huge. Absolutely huge. I'll skip. I've never really used Meditate before. Never really have. And Lesson Learned is coming into play too. So this is pretty cool. So talk of the hand upgraded, but it's only going to upgrade after this fight. Sands of Time is probably a good card because over time it will cost zero. I think Sands of Time, I mean, same with... Same with this, too. This isn't bad either because we can get two halts. We don't really need this because we're using our wrath. I think halt might be the call because it, we can get some good blocking going with our rage. I think our damage is doing really well. I think what we could really help with it, too, is just maybe a little more blocking. So I think I'm going to go with another halt because the damage that's really kicking really well right now is something like this. Because this would be 30 if we're enraged. On top of that, it's a 40 if it's we're enraged. Well, here, let's do the math, actually. I'm just I'm just showing you how my brain works. It's 30. 30 plus 40. So it's 70. So now if we go back and we look at this, 26 times 2 is only 52. So to me, the better card when you're in rage. So you don't need two of these. And this one you have to wait longer to make it cost less. So I think halt is the call. That's just how my brain just thought right there. Okay, this is even better because we can just play super aggressive because, well, it might kind of counter with talk to the hand because we'll get blocking. So it might not help that well, but... Maybe in some situations it might. I don't really know. Now we'll put Weak on too because he likes to be annoying with his attacks, with his multi hits. But I think after this point, I think blocking's pretty much set.
I think we'll get meditate here. Yeah, so we'll do... It's not bad. Carve reality isn't bad here because it adds it to your hand right away. So I'll take that. Now I'm trying to think here. Again, we can neither dig or we can rest. We don't need to smith. You look at the fighting going on here. You have an elite and then you have question, then you have this. So it's like, do you want to or do you want to rest? I'd say you rest because I want you to see how it goes. I want to see how it goes here. Just keep in mind that 48 health because if you didn't do that, what would have happened? <laughs> the cards you can retain here so you can get a pretty big turn here if you're raged or whatever So we didn't need to rest. So it tells me for the uh, boss, I'll just dig. I think it's good to take. 
And then we'll just remove a strike card. Well, we'll remove the last strike card that I, that's not upgrade. How about that? Give us a higher chance of maybe having this upgraded next or this. This isn't bad either because it's more draw, but with the amount of draw that I have right now, I feel like that's just not a good idea. I can probably go for Empty Fist. I think that's what I want to take. I think Empty Fist is the call. Otherwise, everything else I'm fine with. Now we're digging. Nice. I'm going to have confidence in myself, assuming that I can do this. That is an incredible second turn, dude. Absolutely incredible second turn. Wild. I think we retain that. Don't use it. Maybe we can get something for it. This is going so well right now. Oh, I'm loving that I feel like as much PTSD that I've had with the Watcher, I feel like I'm doing so much better with her than I did before with my struggle when I was having issues, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera, with everything going on. Oh, it feels so good, man. Now, Master Reality probably would be the call here. I know it's not upgraded, but it doesn't hurt because once it, if it is upgraded, it will cost zero. But we have Lesson Learned that will essentially either upgrade Vigilance next, Empty Mind, or Reality. If we if we use it right, because I don't think we need to use scrawl and I don't think we need another lesson learned, to be honest. So I think master reality is good because we can have something like this then be upgraded because now that'll be upgraded, which will be great in our fights. And then uh, there was something else that's also the smite cards that we get to this right here. So cool. Now, what's this? Can no longer smith? Well, why do we need to, right? I just said in Act 2, this whole time we've been doing this run, we don't need to do what? Smith. Because we have something like Lesson Learned that can help us with that. We're either going to do resting or digging now. So, let's go ahead and take this because we don't need to smith. Now we're going to have extra energy on top of everything else going on. So this is awesome. And it can still make me uber sad and I can still lose. Here's how we should play this. I'm going to be honest. feel like how we should play this is playing to our rest sites if we can. There it is. That's a sneaky one right there. That's a cheeky little line I just saw. I'm like, what? wait, what is that? And then I was like, oh, I see it now. I 
I think I can get away with that. And hey, even if we don't make it, it's not the end of the world. I'll be happy either way. This has been a good run. It's been a very good run. I've been having fun with this one. Reality got upgraded. Nice. Yeah, so once we're in rage, dude, it's like it's all good. I think metal metal fortress. Mental fortress. Yep. Because as we're as we're changing our stances and stuff, we're getting more blocking. I think that's okay, too, to take. We'll get more blocking in there, so... Good for scaling. He's not going to fully kill you, so... I didn't even see what the boss was. Awaken one? Okay. Retaining. We've been retaining some cards, and I feel like it's been very situational for us. I think it will help us. Um, I think it will help us set up turns and helping up when we want to attack and not to attack and all these things. So I think I will take it. I think I'm going to try, but I'm going to be very weary here on what we want to take and not take going forward, obviously. But I think this is okay to take. However, ask yourself, do you feel like you have better cards that are retainable in this said run. I think this card's better retained. I think this card is better retained. It seems like one of those more base or simpler cards. So maybe it's not the greatest take, so let's just skip. Maybe it's going to hurt your deck more than help it. Okay, not bad, actually, either of the two. Okay, good, good, good. Hmm. Okay. To get his blocking down, I think.
It's a little scary sometimes, but like I said, once you get into rage, it's like it's not that bad. I don't need three halts. Okay. We're digging. Okay, nice. I'm gonna put this on. That's big. That's a good test of your that's a good test of your deck right there. It's a very good test of your deck. So what are we missing now when it comes to upgrading cards? Because I've never had a deck, I don't think ever, where everything has been upgraded. I think everything at this point has been upgraded in my deck. Besides the curse card. I mean, we can go for crush joints. Otherwise, we can raise our max HP, which kind of synergizes well with this. I would say do it. Get that extra damage in there. <laughs> Dude, I, I'm sorry. I know I didn't say this. I did not say this. I know I didn't. Okay, because you didn't hear me say it because I said it in my head. But I said what would be perfect is if we get into rest sites and we get internal feather. That way I don't even have to worry about resting because we can get healing based off of our cards. I said that in my head just before I clicked dig and that's what showed up. I wouldn't be reacting that way if I didn't think that that wasn't. I was like, this is what this runs missing. Boom, and it happened, dude. Just like that. That's crazy. Okay. Hmm, not bad. Same with this either isn't bad. Do we want to remove another card though? See, the thing is if you if you remove a card like your strike, you should probably remove your strike if you want to get something like Bowling Bash, okay? But the thing is, you have two really good relics like this, which would help you for more energy with the cards that you already have. And I think that would be nice. I also think this is a good pickup for blocking if you need it for the boss fight and stuff to get really make sure you're through this. So we should be smart here and do the math first before I pick up anything because maybe I don't need Bowling Bash, right? I don't have it. Don't, it's as the run told you, you need it. And so if I take 309 minus 48, I would still have enough to get that. So let's do this and this. I think that's a good shot. Now we have another chance we're going to get Internal Feather here. So I say we just let Internal Feather do its thing, and then we dig. Okay, nice. More HP. <laughs> wow.
Now that just adds a little more to it, but I feel like this is only for, this is just a little greed at this point. Because if you have Metal Fortress, that's going to be better because you're going to get only blocking when you're in Calm, not when you change stances. So this is probably going to be your better card to take because I don't think you have a Tranquility. And that'll be nice to have for certain situations. So that'll be nice because it costs nothing. Otherwise, you can always raise your max HP. Let's do this. I can, I can, I can get rid of that, it's fine. That's perfect to get right away. Now this might be someone I might draw here too, I don't know yet. I think I'll just let it. I'll think I'll. I'll think I'll retain. I'll think I'll retain here. I'll retain. What two cards would you want to put in your hand? Um... If I'm in Calm, probably draw... ...and wallop. Choose a skill to start with in your hand each turn. Probably Tranquility. No, maybe Meditate. Maybe Meditate. Maybe Meditate. Because it's been kind of a good card for this run. Does that sound like a good idea? Does Meditate sound actually sound like a good idea or not? That's, a, that's just honestly a really tough one for me because I'm like, what have you been using? Meditate feels, I feel like if you get it early, actually if you get it early in your, in your build, sometimes it might force you to play it and might hurt you. I guess since you're always going into Calm, the start of your turns, Empty Mind might help set up a longer situation here. Let's just raise our HP. 
All right, dig away. Mmm. Nice. Just trying to, I was trying to think of, do I want to draw that talk to the hand in the first, first wave or not? We'll see here. We'll see. Oh, 
Um, Try not to get cute here, but I kind of want to. Yes. I just figured I would end it with lesson learned because I've learned a lesson or two here with this run. Wow, 26 cards. That climb to Ascension level five was a piece of cake. No problem. There were a few, I guess, runs that you guys didn't see that were maybe a little frustrating, but what a blessed run this was, man. Incredible when you have things like Molten Egg, which I'll hold it on the screen. I feel like I duck away from those kind of quickly. When you have Molten Egg, which allows you to, whenever you get an attack into your hand after fighting an enemy, you upgrade it. To having things like a Toxic Egg, which allows you to upgrade every skill in your hand after you fight an enemy. It's always going to be upgraded. And then on top of that, you get those early so that when you pick up something like Lesson Learn, which I believe was an Act 1 boss, going forward, any of these cards are going to be upgraded that we picked up. But then we got a really fun relic here in one of those events, the Good Face, Bad Face. At the end of e at combat, you raise your max HP to 1. So we got that early and that raised our HP up a lot. And then we got something like shovel which was dig which was really cool because with that relic that made it very interesting to see how we were playing stuff because then when we got things like regal pill that was just a safe bet i was like well just in case we need it and i think i only needed to rest once after that it was all perfect so then we got this in act three after act two boss we killed him so that we no longer need to smith at any rest sites well why do you need to when you have something like lesson learned that's pretty much upgraded all these cards at the end and then on top of that, you get things like Master Reality, which will also upgrade cards once, <laughs> once you have Carve Reality or uh, Reach Haven. Everything in this deck was upgraded. So obviously, we don't need to smith because we're great. Then we have an amazing dig with something like Internal Feather, which for every five cards in your deck, you heal three HP whenever you enter a rest site. Not just rest, you enter it. But now I'm like, well, then all there's even no more reason to even have to rest if we have internal feather. So now all we have to do is just dig for relics. And then we got this, which really helped because we would always enter calm. And then I got bottle lightning, which then helped us have this in our hand right away. Empty mind, which whenever you draw three cards, you exit your stand. So it gives us extra energy. It starts our turns really strong. You might be asking, well, what's your lesson learned here? The lesson learned here was I was not greedy in any of this situation. There were moments you saw me thinking about cards that I would want to pick up. Things like flying sleeves where it was retainable. And I was thinking of, well, you can retain cards. The retain cards have been working. But then I was like, well, wait a minute. The other cards that you're retaining, though, are better than that retain. So do you feel like you need this retain? The Watcher is one of those characters that if you get too carried away, Away with and you get too aggressive with it can almost hurt you in the end and that's what's most frustrating about her in the time that i've learned and spent with her i've been very frustrated with her because of how i feel like i can just keep going i'm so overpowered but it's like you don't really need to and maybe this is another reason why with our other run we did just before this one when we had pandora boxes our starting relic it was so interesting to see how well the watcher does with that relic She's very powerful. When you get rid of her base cards and you start basing it really off of the cards that you pick up in a run, you don't need to have 35 cards in your deck. It's just proven here. Obviously, there was one area in an act two boss where I was unsure and I just rested to be safe. 
and I rarely took any damage. But if there's anything that I used to be very scared with the Watcher in my time that I've spent with her is going enraged. Enraged has always been a scary thing thing with her because I'm always like I what if I don't have my cards I want but I've been trying to pick up things like simmering fury or rush down stuff that adds draw things that benefit from it things like mental fortress so I've been trying really hard to like just build the deck around changing stances and not just always focusing on energy it was a lot of fun man this run was absolutely blessed from so many situations but i can tell you the few runs that i didn't show you guys a lot of them were just kind of getting to act two a lot and then dying halfway through it i shouldn't say a lot it was it was just a few times but i'd say we sp i spent at least maybe 10 hours trying to get to act it's ascension five with her ironclad was our hardest but don't know i don't know why maybe i'm good with the watcher now i don't know i shouldn't say that because i i was confident with the silent and defect and say i'm really good with these characters and then i kicked myself in the teeth for it i'm just really happy that it went so well and i'm having fun learning her and when i am understanding her and i am figuring out she's a lot of fun man She's a hard character to pull away from when I don't understand her, and she's even more harder to pull away from when you do understand her, because she's the most powerful enemy, but she teaches you so much about this game. Teaches you how to like just think about certain ways, like it, you go into eruption, then you want to draw halt, then you want to go into calm to really use that halt card super well. I'll show you what I'm talking about, and since, since people might be visualists. It's something like this. You want to go into eruption. You want to go into rage. This is a first to having every single card upgraded. You're looking at this. I'll go slow in case you don't believe me. Look at all the pluses. All the pluses. Every single card is upgraded in this deck. And it's easy to have every card upgraded when you have something like Molten Egg and Toxic Egg coming in early in a run. That is why I say this run is blessed. And then when you get something like Dig early, otherwise we got Dig as backup because we don't need to Smith because we got Lesson Learned to help us with that. And then we get this to get just more energy to be OP. I know I've already said this, but this was so cool and I love staring at it. Like I said, the Watcher, it does a lot with my emotions. I have to think and focus with her a lot. My talking goes down a lot. I don't talk in between turns as much as I do with the silent ironclad defect because I just want to understand her and I really want to make sure I get it. A lot of things synergized very well with this run, man, and I'm so happy, but things are going to get tougher now. 1046 for a score. That's a high score for the Watcher. Probably one of my highest scores out of any character. Good deal. Happy about it. Now, we get to go to Ascension 5, and I am extremely scared. Now, we can show you, because I haven't showed this with anybody, but just to make sure you're aware, Ironclad is at Ascension level 5. Silent is at Ascension level 5. Defect is at Ascension level 5. And now Watcher is at Ascension level 5. So now this means what is next? What would I like to do? Well, since the Watcher is still one of those characters I'm trying to learn, Let's keep going with her. Let's keep going up with her. The Ascensions, I don't know where I want to stop stop at. I think it was like eight with one character and then go from there. But I'm unsure. I don't absolutely know. I do think that we'll just play it by here. I think in the next future videos, what you can expect is more is more Watcher. If you're wondering what's going to be next. I just don't know how long those are going to be. Now, the modifier changes quite crazy because I don't actually know how much HP you get because you heal less after boss battles now. So I don't know how less you get of HP. So that's something that's probably going to be the testament to my skill. You've been, if you've been watching my videos a lot, a lot of the time with act one bosses i always end on very low hp so that's gonna probably kill me if i'm not self-aware of that and realizing that that's gonna be the next thing i have to start telling myself it's more greed is gonna have to be even more on to snuff and par going forward with my future runs kind of like what i did with this one with the watcher that you just saw now so we'll see man ggs though man i'm glad it wasn't a struggle but i know we've got 15 more levels to go with each character it's been a very long journey so far but i hope that you guys have been enjoying what you've been seeing if you've been tuning in ggs Cheers.